Hello, and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create text and an engraved text on Autodesk Fusion. So just to get started, what I'm going to do is draw a square and then I'm going to show you the power of the text tool in the software by doing a little more of a funky shape. So what I'll do is I'm going to start by drawing a sketch on the XY plane, just go from the datum, press 500 in, type 500 in, press tab, press 500 again. So now I've finished that sketch, I'm going to go up to extrude, I'm going to extrude it 350. And then from there I'm going to click the side of the cube and I'm going to click create and then I'm just going to get the spline tool and draw something a little bit more a little more um, designy and graphical and a bit more curved than an actual, just a normal cube. So that I'll do. So if I finish that sketch there, just spin it around so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, and I'm going to extrude to this surface. So if I click extrude, click the profile. And I'm going to go start to the profile plane. The direction's one-sided, distance, is to an object and I'm going to click to that face and the operation is join so if I click OK so now we've got this cube with a curved top and a flat bottom so what I'm going to do is draw text on the bottom and on the top so if I go create sketch now and then if I go to modify oh, sorry not modify create and then if I go to text, draw a box, I'm just going to put YouTube. So now I'm, what I'm going to do is put it in the middle, in the center of the box and probably make it a little bit bigger to be fair. So there we go, Interactive CAD, which is my channel. If you do find this uh, video helpful, please do subscribe. So if I go finish sketch, as you can see, I've got interactive CAD YouTube just on the bottom of the cube. And now if I go to create, and then I go down to emboss, and click the emboss, uh, click the text, and select the faces I want to, um, sorry, select the faces I want to emboss. So if you, you click your sketch profile, which is your text, you click your face, which is the face you want to emboss, and then you select depth, you, so you can make it, let's make it 50 mil deep. So I've gone the wrong way there, so that's sticking out. So what, we, what I wanted to do was go minus 50. Sorry about that. So now I've got 50 mil embossed text in my cube but I might actually edit that and make it 10 just because 50 is a bit big but another great thing you can do with this kind of feature with the emboss feature on Autodesk Fusion which I think is really good is if I go to construct and I offset a plane so I select the bottom of the cube and I'm just going to just so you can see it I'm just going to pull it above the cube and then I'm going to click OK on that. So I've got a sketch plane floating above the cube. I'm going to, and then I'm going to create a sketch. So once I've done that, in fact, which way should we do it? I think let's have it running that way. I'm going to go to create again, text. I'm going to draw a box from there to there. I'm going to put interactive cat YouTube. Again, just the same kind of text. I've aligned it in the center, in the middle of the cube, uh, of the square I've drawn, and the, I'm not. I'm, I'm I'm happy with the height at thirty, but you can obviously change that and change the font as well. You can also select a path, so you can have it the text curving. Oh, because I select. Sorry, because I selected path. It didn't do it properly. So let's try that again. It's because when I selected the the path text, 
Um, I obviously didn't have a path to select, so it reset the tool. Sorry about that. So, like I said, let's make this bold as well. Okay, so now I have the once I've pressed OK, I'll just rotate it round to show you. I've got interactive CAD YouTube floating above my cube. If I do the same again, go to create. Oh, sorry, finish the sketch first. That'd help. So if I go to there and then I go to create emboss again, select my text and select the face I want to do. I want to do the actual curved face. And now, if I, let's make it 20 mil, sticking out, using a bit of computing power there. So now, as you can see, it follows the curve of the cube and the surface. And you can do the same when you emboss it into the into the cube as well. I hope you found this little tutorial helpful. If you have, please do subscribe to my channel. All support's appreciated. And thanks for watching.